I love mornings in the park, the light through the trees, the birds and the squirrels. It's Central Park. You guys uh, created the show together alongside Nora Smith. Where did the idea for a musical animated comedy come from? And is it an infinite world? Like, is, is there a story beyond this one? The idea of doing a giant musical event series in the middle of Central Park uh, was an idea I came to Lauren and Nora with and not much more. I literally said, I want to do a musical in Central Park and I love you. <laughs> he said, okay, you got anything else? He said, nope, uh, but I can put together a great cast. Uh, and we uh, we sort of batted around a bunch of ideas, but, but from there, Lauren and Nora and I uh, had a whole lot of coffee and a whole lot of inspiration. If Josh Gad wants to have coffee, then it's kind of nice to say, yeah, I love coffee with Josh Gad. Uh, and, um, we had uh, this, you know, sense of how to do animation. We had a sense of how to cast, which is to cast your friends. We asked Josh to to cast his friends to to think of who he wanted to work with, that people in his network that he knew that would trust him, that he could trust. Um, but what we didn't know was how to make a musical. Uh, Josh had music in his had musicals in his in his DNA and his bones um, as a performer for sure. And as an appreciator of the form. And so Nora and I um, really had to uh, c trust him and, and follow his lead and, and start to understand what it meant. We foolishly thought we knew we were, we would put songs in Bob's forever. And I've worked on other shows that had music in it. Uh, but a, a musical is different than a show that has music. A musical uh, has the songs as the bedrock that everything else is built on. Uh, and so that was really fun and interesting and, and hard to learn uh, what, what it meant, what, what that form means, uh, but it's really exciting. Someone needs to protect the park. It's impossible. Nothing's impossible. Did your voice just get really weird? Central Park. The show interweaves quite a bit of real Central Park knowledge. Like I learned more about the garbage system in Central Park than I thought I would have, for instance. Um, hey. how, how did you guys, was that all there for you? How did you get that, that sort of information? That is all Warren Bouchard's doing. Uh, it has been one of the magical elements of the show that I find so unbelievably captivating is Lauren is obsessed with truth. He's obsessed with honesty. He's obsessed with um, facts. Yeah, in general, I would say animation, because it's it's a little bit, it leaves reality. Obviously, it's drawings that speak, you know, it's not, it's not a depiction of reality the way we know it. I think what's nice then is to pin it down in the corners and find real life details that keep it from just drifting off into pure fantasy. I like that there's this um, research that can be done. What What is the garbage system? How do they pick up the trash in Central Park? What, you know, what, what do the little carts look like? What's the um, sense of, of the reality of, of that actual system, let's say? Uh, but it could be as simple as, as uh, what, what does it look like in a restaurant when they've got the conduit on the outside of the wall and it's the wires are, you know, showing what is, you know, if you just draw that and you don't draw it in real life, what, what it looks like in real life, then your eye goes to it and you say, what is that? I don't understand that. But if you bring it down and you put those little weird little um, screwy holder things that that bolted to the wall and you do the outlet the way the outlet actually looks, yeah, I think we all br suddenly relax and we say i've been in a restaurant where they've where i've seen the wires on the outside of the wall i know what that looks like and you and then you're free to not think about it if you don't want to or you can appreciate it if you do want to but it grounds animation and storytelling frankly i think um and comedies and musicals when you can imbue it with that kind of detail i for me i love it when i feel like i've learned a little bit about some you know, something I didn't know before when I'm watching something, even if it's in a comedy. The name's not that clear. 